Hello, it's Gadget Review here, and this is going to be the first episode of a two-part review series on the BioLite Camp Stove 2 Plus. I've had this stove for just over two years now, and I first bought this stove back in 2021. So why did I get it in the first place? Honestly, I didn't actually need a new camping stove at the time, as I already had quite a few other stoves that I had been using for camping. But keep in mind, this was still back in 2021, a lot of us were still transitioning out of the COVID situation, so I was still spending a lot of time consuming YouTube contents back then. And when I came across the video about this stove, I was really interested by the technology that they used in this stove. Because the stove was so unique in what it can do, I just hadn't seen anything quite like it before. So I decided to buy it and give it a try myself. And now you might be wondering what is so unique about this stove anyway? So be sure to stick around and find out. So firstly, what kind of stove is this? Well, it is a wood stove. So you can use it to burn sticks, twigs or pellets. What makes this wood stove more special than any other wood stove that are out on the market? And as it turns out, this wood stove can actually generate electricity on demand. And it does so by converting heat energy into usable electricity by using a built-in thermoelectric generator. And that means when you're cooking with the stove, it's also generating electricity that can be used for charging your personal devices. If you're generating more electricity than you're using up, the stove even comes with a 3200 mAh battery that can be used for storing extra charges that you're generating. Pretty cool, huh? And there's more. The electricity that it generates is also used to power an internal fan for a hyper-efficient combustion process creating a vortex of smokeless flames from your cooking. Which makes it look like it's burning rocket fuel. I mean, just check this out. And of course, you may not want to be blasting fire like that all the time. So the fan does come with four different speeds, allowing you to control how fast the fan is spinning. Therefore, how quickly you're burning up the wood. And if you're going to be doing some nighttime cooking, the stove also comes with a flex light that can help you with it, so you can actually see things outside when it's dark. And to use the light, you simply plug it into the USB port that's in front of the power module, And gently tap the back of the light panel to turn it on or off. And I'm going to quickly show you how bright this light is when it's dark out. And the power module has three indicator lights on it. The one on the far right is the battery indicator. The one in the middle indicates the fan speed. And the one on the left indicates how hot the stove is burning. The hotter it is, the more electricity it generates. 
To turn on a battery, you simply press on a power button once. And to manually turn on a fan, you simply press on a power button twice. And this is going to put the fan to the lowest speed. And you just keep pressing the power button to cycle through all the fan speeds. And here I'm plugging in my iPhone into the USB port just to test out if it charges the phone or not. And to generate electricity, you simply just have to burn stuff inside the burn chamber. And if you're generating more electricity than you're using up, the battery indicator is going to start flashing like shown on a screen. And this is essentially telling you that the extra charges that you're generating are getting stored inside its battery so that you can use them for later. Let's build a fire and see this thing in action. If you want to find out how fast this stove can actually boil water with the different fan speeds, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on a water boil test results that I'll be revealing in the part 2 of this review series. And not only that, I'll also be revealing some of the issues that I think this stove has. And my final thoughts on this stove, I'll have all of that in the next video for you so definitely come back and check out part 2 of this review series next week and I'll see you then.